abortions for all. Very well. No abortions for anyone. Abortions for some, miniature American flags for others. Well, today's March uh, for Life certainly had a lot of folks buzzing, thanks to some controversial comments from Liberal leader Justin Trudeau. He surprised many on Wednesday, right before this event, that moving his forward, his Liberal Party, is only for those who believe in pro-choice. Was this a stumble? I have, uh, made it clear that uh, future candidates uh, need to uh, be uh, completely uh, understanding that they will be expected to vote uh, pro-choice uh, on any bills. But our position as a party is we do not reopen that debate. Uh, that's part case. of the screening process. That, that is part of the screening the process. That's part of the green light process. So, so you ask people when they want to run, like on this issue, are you pro-choice? Pro we, we, we check on a number of issues. How do you feel about the Charter of Rights? and freedoms? How do you feel about uh, uh, same-sex marriage? How do you feel about uh, you know, pro-choice? Pro uh, where are you on that? And we make sure that the people who are stepping forward are consistent with the Liberal Party uh, as it is now, as it stands under my leadership. It used to be that it was always a matter of a free vote, it was a conscience issue, and you had people on both sides of the equation. When, when did this evolve in your, your view into a pro-choice par party? Um, perhaps when they chose a resolutely pro-choice leader uh, with over 80% of the support of militants, of, uh, of uh, memberships. Okay, so was this a stumble? Has Justin Trudeau alienated members of his base? Will it hurt him? Let's talk to Michael Diamond. Hey, look, this was not a planned moment. Clearly. And it caught everyone off guard. Including, you know, him, I think, I think him. as the words were coming out of his mouth. Not only has he alienated members of, you know, the electorate and his base, he's alienated members of his parliamentary caucus. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, uh, so John McKay can continue to sit in caucus, being pro-life. Kevin Lamoureux, who chaired Justin Trudeau's leadership campaign in Manitoba, can continue to sit in caucus as a pro-life member of parliament, but no one else can. It's, uh, you know, it's ill-conceived, it's bizarre. And so what will happen? Because... This goes against kind of everything he said. He said he was going to have open nominations. Uh, not so open. Well, and we've already seen that, you know, if uh, he thinks your husband's a bully or if you're pro-life, need not apply. But interestingly enough, you know, the Reform Act, which Michael Chong has brought forward, a conservative MP, on uh, exactly that, not giving the leaders of parties the power to veto selected candidates, Justin Trudeau came out strongly in favor, and his quote was something to the effect of, I support the Reform Act because I believe a member of parliament should be their constituent's voice, not their prime, not the prime minister's or their party's leader's voice. And uh, Right away, now he's saying, well, that's not true anymore. They have to agree with him 100% of the time, I suppose, because 80% of Liberal Party members endorsed his bid to be leader. It makes no sense. You know, for a party that claims to be inclusive, this is extremely, I think this goes to the very opposite of that. Well, absolutely. And this is a guy who's going to talk about diversity throughout his uh, time as leader as we head into the election. But by that, he doesn't actually mean diversity. He, he does not want diverse opinion. Yeah, I mean, this has got to be uh, resonating within the party. He didn't tell anybody he was going to say this. He didn't consult with anybody. I have, a, I have to think that there are a lot of people that are feeling very alienated right now, if not angered. Well, absolutely. I mean, we saw Jim Karagiannis, who just left the Liberal caucus to pursue a run for Toronto City Council, strongly pro-life. And, he, you know, he said uh, his comments following that were, you know, that this is an issue, you know, it's a personal issue, people, you know, diversity within the caucus. And, uh, you know, he even said it's probably, you know, it's a settled issue. If there were to be a free vote in the House of Commons, I don't think we'd see uh, any radical change changes but what does Justin Trudeau mean by pro-life I think we have to find out next because is he talking about you know unborn victims of bills like that the unborn yeah. victim of the crime act is he gonna not want people in his caucus w who would oppose that or term uh, you know limits uh, you know, partial birth abortion and on and on what is pro-life to Justin Trudeau before we let you go he said he didn't want to open this debate why did he open the debate he just did you know there's no winning talking about this for for anyone really and, and uh, Justin Trudeau is so off brand right now from being the transparent party leader who's going to champion uh, open nominations that, you know, we're seeing slips, uh, slip in the polls for him and uh, he's doing nothing to uh, change course. Nonetheless, I guess another attack ad uh, for the Conservatives. He, and Mr. Marquer, who came out swinging yesterday. The best attack yeah. ads for against Justin Trudeau feature Justin Trudeau's voice. Interesting. All right. We'll keep an eye on this, see how it goes. Uh, Michael, thank you. Thank you.